This super simple and comforting soup is so easy to make, you'll never order it for takeout again. What am I talking about? Egg drop soup. So good. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. When I was away at university, this was one of those soups that I made a lot of. But I would start with a can of cream of corn and um, just add whatever I had at home and what I thought needed to go into an egg drop soup. Since then, I have changed it, adapted it, made a number of variations of it, and today I'm gonna to show you one of them. This recipe can be found in my cookbook, Chinese Home Style, but I'm gonna change it up a little bit for you today. I have four boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I am adding about two teaspoons of soy sauce, just to season it a little bit. And that's it. I'm just gonna add some flavor to it, set it aside, and get the rest of my ingredients ready to go. And I have a small thumb size piece of ginger that I'm just going to smash. Because I just want the flavor from it. You can slice it up if you want to, it's totally up to you. But this way I can just dig it out of the soup. I also have two cloves of garlic that I'm going to mince. You can put it through a garlic press if you want, but I'm just gonna chop it up. Since I want that chicken to marinate just a little bit, I have a little bit of time. I also have two stalks of green onion that I'm just gonna chop. I need two eggs. I'm just going to beat them. My chopsticks. I'm just set that aside. And about a tablespoon of cornstarch. Adding about a tablespoon or two of water. Remember it has to be cold or room temperature water, otherwise it won't dissolve and instead clump up and you don't want it to clump up. I'm just gonna prepare this in advance and this will be used to thicken the soup. I'm gonna turn on my stove. Set it to medium high. I'm using my cast iron uh, Dutch oven today, adding about two tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm using corn oil today. I'm gonna add my ginger, because I wanna flavor up the oil a little bit. Just let that cook for a little bit. And of course I was impatient. Oh, no, it's starting to sizzle. All right, you can see the ginger is sizzling now. I'm just gonna push it to the side while I add my chicken. Okay, we're gonna cook it for about three to four minutes on each side until the chicken is completely cooked through. And if you want to have like a vegetarian style, you don't have to use the chicken at all. You can just omit the whole chicken part and even use a uh, vegetable broth instead of chicken broth and you'll still have a really yummy egg drop soup. I'm gonna flip them over. I'm just gonna take them out. Okay, I turned off the heat, so now I'm gonna turn it back on to low, just to get my garlic going. Let's cook that for about 30 seconds until it's fragrant. Okay, then we're gonna add four cups of chicken broth. I still have my ginger floating around in there. That's okay, because we want the flavor from the ginger and the added flavor from all of the browning of the chicken. Okay, we want to scrape up all the brown bits at the bottom. And then we're gonna bump this heat up to uh, medium, just to get it to boil while I cut up the chicken. 
So the chicken, I'm just gonna cut up into, well, however you want to cut it up is fine. I'm gonna cut it up into strips and then into cubes. Oh, it looks so juicy. It looks yummy, it smells yummy. And that's what the, the simplest marinade. <laughs> I just wanted some flavor in the chicken. A little bit of chicken goes a long way oh, to I know. Uh, Look at that. feed a lot more people. Then that makes the soup a, a full meal as opposed to just a soup on the side. But once the soup is boiling, I'm gonna add two cups of corn. So normally I would add one cup of corn and a can of cream style corn. But I realized today that when I went to buy the the can that I read the ingredients in it. All it is is corn and cornstarch and sugar. So I don't need that. Okay, adding two teaspoons of soy sauce. Just gonna bring this back up to a simmer. Okay, once it starts to simmer, I'm gonna turn it down to a low so that it's still simmering, I'm adding my cornstarch slurry to thicken the soup. And remember, that can of cream style corn had cornstarch in it. So you're just adding it yourself instead of relying on the can. And if you wanted to, at this point, you can put in an immersion blender and just blend some of it so that you get that kind of creamy uh, corn feel, I guess. Okay, now we're drizzling in our egg and we're just going to kind of cause ribbons. So add it slowly, don't dump it all in one place. Look at that, looks so good. Okay, still on low, adding our chicken back in and all the drippings as well. And the green onions. Let us stir. All right, you can turn off the heat at this point. Okay, I'm gonna remove that ginger, remember. And a couple of last things about, I don't know, a quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper. Unless you want it to bring the heat. Yep, you can add as little or as much as you want. And how about a drizzle of sesame oil? Mm, yum. All right. And that is all. Okay, let's get this into a bowl for you, dude. Are y'all ready for? Oh yeah. Mm, 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 the taste. You know, you guys, we living in times where food costs are rising and that definitely translates into a higher cost when you go out to eat takeout. Um, so what do we do? It's not like we're going to give up eating well. Just keep eating well, keep eating delicious food. And we're going to keep bringing you recipes that bring the flavor and bring the cost down. And sometimes those recipes are like really cheap. And this is one of those super cheap recipes. But look at all this goodness. You're not going to get this in the restaurants, guys. They're not going to brown the chicken for you. Look at all that. And it's thick, flavorful as this. Not a chance. Mmm. That sesame oil has that great finishing aroma. That chicken, great. Look at that color that from browning. I'm sure it's gonna bring the flavor too. Oh, mmm. So good. Great mouthfeel with the textures. The chicken is moist and tender and then you get the corn in there forget about the blending just 
do it rustic. Leave the kernels whole. The flavors are mellow and deep flavors as well. So fantastic. Mm. Yeah. All right. Thanks, dude. Mm -hmm. All right. Keep saving money, you guys, and have delicious meals that are simple to make. For more easy, simple recipes, check it out. My cookbook's below.